what's up everybody? This is Doug. In this video, I want to teach you how to understand, at least at a high level, how Adobe Analytics tracks website data so that you'll have an idea of how data is getting into these reports and where the data is coming from that you are analyzing. So here I have a basic project and I have a pages report with all the pages down in the rows and of course a few metrics across here. But where does this data come from to fill this report? Well, obviously it comes from your site, but what is the connection and how does it get in? So if I go over to this site up here, this is the site that is pushing data into that report suite or that database where I am pulling that data from. Now, the first thing I'm gonna recommend is that you download an extension for Chrome and I'm going over here to the Chrome Web Store. And if you search for Adobe Experience Cloud, you'll be able to get this Adobe Experience Cloud debugger selection. And I have already installed it but you'll add it to Chrome, just like that button, but you'll click it there, and it will put this little icon over here to the right of your address bar. Now, when you go to your site, and then click on that icon, it will open up this debugger, and it will give you the data that's coming into the different Experience Cloud applications. So if we click on Analytics right there, it will show us that it's coming into this report suite, and if I expand that, it will show me that the page name is home page for that page. Now, every time there's another hit, it'll give you another column. So if I click back and click on women, and then I click on activewear, and I go back to my debugger, well, there they are, women's page, activewear page. So the pages that are coming in are home page, women's page, and activewear page. Now, if I go back to analysis workspace, I can see that home page and women's page and activewear page are all in there and that's how they're getting in there. Again, when the page comes up, it's sending the data in. You can see that through the debugger and you'll be able to see all the different data that is coming in to the report suite that can fill your reports and visualizations. Now what determines what data is gonna be in each one of these hits? Well, that is determined through your implementation of our tool. And so you're gonna to wanna to talk to the people at your site who have implemented the tool or who know the implementation anyway, and they can tell you all about the different data that is coming in that you can use in your analysis workspace project. Now, hopefully that's also been documented. And let me show you an example if I go over to Excel here, I have an example of a business requirements document where it says, here are the things that we want to track. We want to track pages and sections of pages and product views and those kinds of things. And here are the variables we're going to put them in. And then in a variable map, this is also called a solution design document or a solution design reference. There's a lot more information about the variables that will hold this data. So I highly recommend that you talk to your analytics specialists at your site to see if there is documentation on the implementation so that you can see the data that's coming in. But at the end of the day, that's really it. By using this Experience Cloud debugger, you'll be able to see the data on every single page and on every single hit that is coming into your site and that is filling those reports in your workspace project. Good luck.